Welcome to Health and Fashion YouTube channel. Our today's topic is 5 Natural Remedies for Tinnitus. Tinnitus or ringing in the ear is not a disease. It is an annoying medical condition in which ringing. The ringing in the ears can be stopped with home remedies and lifestyle changes in most cases, but some cases of tinnitus require medical interventions. Number 1. Alternative Remedies both acupressure and hypnosis have been found useful in some cases. Both have no side effects so you can try them out with expert help. Milder and early stages of ringing in the ears can be easily reduced. Number 2. Cover with external sounds. The calmness of the ambience can give an exaggerated feeling of ear ringing. When there is absolutely no external sound only the inner sound is heard much louder. The best way to reduce the inner noise is to cover it up with soothing external sounds. While doing some other important work can easily divert your attention from ringing in the ears. Number 3. Supplements. Supplements impact the chemical balancing in the neural system. Taking different kinds of supplements help can help in different conditions. Zinc supplement improves the neurology of the inner ear. Take zinc supplements in combination with niacin for best results. If you have just begun to feel ear ringing, you are in the early stages of tinnitus. Number 4. Food and Herbs Certain foods and herbs also impact brain activities due to their special minerals and compounds contents. Pineapple fruit and ginkgo biloba are very good remedies for tinnitus. A eat pineapple pineapple is rich in vitamin B6 folate thiamine iron and manganese. It also contains an anti-inflammatory enzyme called bromelain, which also improves blood circulation. Take it on regular basis. Number 5. Lifestyle Changes. There are well-researched scientific evidences suggesting a link between reduction in ringing of the ears and improved blood circulation. Blood circulation can be improved by taking supplements, by following an exercise regime, making dietary changes and by following all the methods. Whatever is required to do, you should do it. Both these conditions can be life-threatening. Doctors usually rule them out first before they give you any advice. Thank you.